What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Will back with another video. Now, today, 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 we're going to be discussing and getting to the defense. I know the last couple of videos I've been drafting the last couple of weeks, but mostly um, geared towards the offense. That's kind of what been the buzz been about in camp and in OTAs. Uh, but a big part of this Browns defense uh, with these new, tech, new two upcoming videos I'm about to drop, um, it's going to be getting into my expectations for the Browns defense, uh, my expectations for certain players, and... So I'm be really getting into just what can I <clears throat> unbiasedly and realistically see for this defense and for Miles Garrett um, in this in this group, you know. So today we're gonna be discussing and talking about Miles. Miles is a Darius Smith. Um, is this the best pass rushing tandem in the division? Yes, by far. Um, is it the best pass rush duo in the league? Um, I think the 49ers may have a say in that. Um, there's a couple other teams, but I, I do feel like this is a, is a top five pass rushing duo. Just because Miles is pretty much, I mean, the best edge rusher in the league. Um, and now, and of course, that could be up for debate. I know I got a lot of Pittsburgh fans that feel like TJ Watt clears them. Um, but, I mean, he's been the number one player on PFF the last two, three years in a row. Uh, man, I'm not going to say PFF is the only with all standing, but I mean, Miles Garrett, for what he plays with and the talent around him to still put up the numbers he put, if you put Miles Garrett on the Steelers and you put TJ Watt on the Browns, I guarantee you it's a totally different look. Um, I guarantee you Miles gets 20 in Pittsburgh. Guarantee it. Probably Blake Stott's sack record. Um, now, TJ in Cleveland, we don't know. Um, <clears throat> that's not my that's my personal opinion on it. Now, Everybody gonna have their own say so, but he was injured last year, so in my opinion, Miles is still the best edge rusher in the league. Um, and then add in Darius, who's a top twenty edge rusher, two what top twenty, top eighteen edge rushers. Um, you don't really see that on teams. And to throw it off and add in Dalvin Tomlinson and stuff like that, so I can really see where um, this defense can really shine and grow. <clears throat> But just not going to get into that. We're going to get onto that in a separate video. Just talking about Miles and just Darius. Uh, so just Darius, what he had, I don't know if it was eight sacks or ten sacks. He started off the year with like like eight or nine sacks in the first seven games. Something ridiculous like that. And then he kind of flamed out because he had an injury going on, I'm, I'm hearing. Um, Miles was the same way. Um, so Miles will come out every year. If you're a Browns fan, you know, come out. Averaging like a sack and a half, two sacks a game, something ridiculous. And then he have those zero sack games, those um, zero tackle games, like those games where he just don't seem like he put in an impact because he's starting to get gashed out, and it looks like he's kind of tired out there. Um, now, what I will say is Miles hasn't had the help. Now, I don't know. I'm not too familiar with Zadarius. Apparently, he had, he had like a small little injury, but I'm not too familiar with him to really give you guys uh, my two cents on why he flamed out towards the end of the year. Um, but Miles, I do my Miles. Then it's always been a consistent thing. It got really nothing to do with age. I think it's more of, of mental fatigue. Um, he gets more, I think, fatigue in general. I mean, fatigue throughout the season um, and mental fatigue for sure. Um, now, how and where can we improve and help him out with that for one him like not getting a car accident would probably help <laughs> for two and I'm, I'm i wasn't saying that to be like mean but he did get into a whole car accident and only missed a game for it probably had a lot to do with why he ain't get 20 sacks and he only got 16 which was still a career high um and i'm pretty sure a browns record um just how talented and great that guy is um but let's get back into it <clears throat> The additions of Double O, having Alex Wright out there, um, and then also having Isaiah Thomas, and also having Isaiah McGuire, to keep him fresh, with having this Darius on the other side, I think that'd be the biggest thing, is keeping Miles fresh. Um, keeping him mentally and physically fresh will probably bode well. Um, and then, you know, Zadarius Smith is going to get, I'm going to give him about an estimate of seven to... 11 sacks, I think it's about, I mean, we could go, we could go a little wider of a range. I'm going to say six and a half, 12, six and a half, 12. Um, but yeah, I feel like 
with having another guy on the opposite of him, having double low, and having guys to come in and actually create consistent pressure, and he's not out there just getting quadrupled all day long, either one or thing is going to happen. They're going to continue to quadruple him and let Zedarius and all those other guys feast, or he's going to start getting, you know what I'm saying, a little bit less fatigue and be able to just consistently beat those triple and double teams just because he's getting people switched in and out for him and he's staying fresh throughout the game. Now, with Zedarius, he's never played with a talent like Miles Garrett. Never. Uh, we seen the Javion Clowney had what, one of his top two years as a professional here with uh, Miles, but he had nine sacks, and Clowney's not even a big sack guy. So I do think Zedarius could get about 11, 12 sacks as long as he stays healthy and his defense is rocking and rolling like it's supposed to. Uh, but, like I said, that's up for debate. Um, this was a terrible defense last year. Um, to expect this defense to be a top five defense this year, um, that don't happen in the NFL, you know? And I'll get into that in another video, like and subscribe, but um, you can't expect the Browns to go from worst to first at all. So it's going to be somewhere where we're going to have to grow at and we're going to have to get a little bit better at. Um, so expecting everybody to just have career years just because it's the best defensive line that they have had in the last couple of years and the best secondary they have had in the last couple of years. Yeah, it's realistic to expect people to go up and have better years, but problems are still going to occur. Um, we still play in a tough division, and we still going to get scored on, and still going to be mad. We still going to be kind of frustrated with the defense. Um, that's if and if it was good or bad. Uh, we're not going to be like the 89 Bears or um, a top three defense, I don't think. But like I said, I'll get into that in a different video. Um, but yeah, that'd be my expectation. So just for Zadarius and Miles, I think I'm gonna put them at. Hmm. I'm gonna say twenty-six to thirty-two sacks a piece. Not a piece. <laughs> I can't talk, bro. Um, twenty-six to thirty-two sacks combined. What they got last year? They got sixteen. They got twenty-six last year. So I think 26, 25 and a half is their base. And then I'm going to say, and that was with Miles missing games, and I'm pretty sure Jadarius probably missed the game. Um, yeah, I'm going to say 26 sacks is their base um, expectation. i say about 32 is their high. Um, I can see Miles getting 20 sacks and Jadarius getting like 11. I could see that. That would be crazy. Um, but I do see a lot of sacks. We got good guys in coverage. I don't think Ward is trash. I don't think um, Greg Newsom is trash. Um, I believe in Martin Emerson. I believe in Grand Delpit. Those guys can cover. I could. I believe in Juan Thornhill. Those guys can cover. So as long as they can cover for a little bit longer, I do think everybody's going to be able to get some sacks. Um, it's only so long you can hold guys like Miles. It's only so long you can hold guys like Jadarius Smith and Dalvin Thompson. Uh, we're going to bring up and discuss also bringing in a third guy. I forgot the guy's name, but um, it started with a Y. He played for the Colts. I just can't pronounce it off the top of my head. But, yeah, I think that's going to be how I feel about it. Um, remember me saying this? I like to, like, drop videos um, during the offseason just because, you know, you can really see in hindsight what your projections was. So then you can't change it up and, and move the, move the, the goalposts. You know what I'm saying? So when I come out and say, hey, 26 to 32 sacks for them as a duo, Kabam, no injuries, um, I feel like it's very reliable. Now, they probably gonna, one of them probably going to miss a game or two. Um, but that's why you have double O. That's why you have Isaiah McGuire. That's why you got Alex right out there. Um, that, and that's why you got the talent and the depth level that you have. Now, we can't add another pass rusher. Don't really know where another defensive line guy is going to go on this team without getting rid of uh, Perrion. And I don't think – I think Perrion's here to stay. I think Jordan Elliott is here to stay. I think um, – Unless somebody else gets cut randomly, I don't see another position group to add, but they could add in another guy on the defensive line, and we'll go and talk about that in another video. But as y'all remember, we're doing this 100 sub giveaway. We're giving away a jersey at 100 subs. I need 10 people to comment, done. You got a sub. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. I try to put my Instagram and my Twitter all down in all the bios. Sometimes it takes me like a day or two to remember to go back and do it. Um, I got to get better at that. But, yeah, we're doing a 100 sub giveaway. I need at least 10 entries. Giving away a brown jersey right before the season start. Um, at 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away a, brown, a ticket to a Browns game. 
And then at 10,000, we probably do like a cash giveaway. But make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. It's your boy, Will. Y'all lock in, hit that sub button, and we out. Peace.